Kata kunci kegiatan ini adalah saling mengerti antar bangsa menuju perdamaian dunia. Kegiatan pertukaran pelajar di tingkat SMA ini dimulai antara Indonesia dengan Amerika Serikat timbal balik pada tahun 1956. 53 tahun yang lalu kemudian berkembang ke 15 negara di dunia diikuti oleh lebih dari 2000 orang pelajar program ini meliputi American Film Service International Scholarships atau EFS kemudian program YES mulai pada tahun 2003 program Genesis Ide dasar dari kegiatan ini adalah bersamalah berjalan, bersamalah bertukar pikiran, dan kalian akan mendapatkan perdamaian. Walk together, talk together, and you shall have peace. Semoga kita dapat terus melaksanakan ide besar ini dengan sebaik-baik. Olahraga yang paling populer di sekolahku itu football. Soalnya kalau misalnya American football tuh di sini benar-benar yang namanya terkenal tuh terkenal banget. Bahkan aku tuh bingung kok bisa mereka ngemanggil football tuh football. Sedangkan mereka aja nggak pakai kaki mereka buat main. I tell her, for football, you get to use your hands. No. You get to use your feet. You get to catch it and soccer. Oh, you need to kick it. Terus mereka bilang kalau misalnya soccer tuh cuma apa sih dia? Runner-run doang. Only one person can touch you with their hands. No, which is the goalie. That's the rule. We can't use our hand, you know? We have different rules. We know that being an adolescent, being a teenager, is very difficult. It's very challenging. If you, if you think about, you know, the biology, when those are the years of 15 through 19, or of that, you know, approximately the high school years, those are the years when you're really discovering your sense of identity, and it's important for you to get good math skills and English skills and all of the great academics that you can get here, but it's also important for you to find a connection with what other things you might do. Maybe it's being on the, a debate team or maybe it's being on a sports team and develop those other skills. I think coaching and teaching go hand in hand. Our, our field is an extension of the classroom. Um, you know, they know that they have certain assignments on the football field that they need to learn and, and to know and know well. And uh, we try to uh, instill hard work. They work hard to, to make themselves better on the field, off the field. There's such a direct relationship between what you put into something and what you get out of it. We do a lot of stuff in the weight room. We have a fitness center at, at our school. And the kids lift weights three times a week. It's tough. It's tough for them. I mean, they, they come to school. It's 10 of 8 they start, and they leave here at 6 at night. And we do a lot of things outside of just practice try to get them into good learning habits, learn good studying habits. And if they'll do that on the football field, we, you know, we have a, a good idea that they'll carry over to the classroom. Anybody can be faster than you, anybody can be stronger than you, anybody can be bigger than you. But the thing that I, I wanted to make sure I installed in myself was, yeah, I just don't believe that, 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 that there's nobody that would just flat out outwork me. Some people are naturally gifted runners, yeah. But running is one of those things. You work hard, you become faster. And so that's really applicable to life in general. You invest yourself. And, and some of that investment's a real sacrifice because the work is hard and painful. <laughs> but th that's how you get better. One of the things we try to do, and I think we excel at, is trying to be sure that there are um, an adult for every child to be attached to as a teenager. 
that might be the drama coach if you're into theater. It might be your track coach if you're in if you're a student who enjoys sports. Uh, I've found that the relationships that I have with students can be strong, but if I've coached them, then they can be that much stronger because we work in another context and then they see me in a different way. I try to uh, instill hard work, um, just uh, you know, discipline, all the intangible type things that. Uh, allow you to, uh, as, as you move on and graduate, that you might need in the, in the real world. Certainly, at some point, school ends for all of us. So, if you can apply these lessons to your life, then you're going to become more productive for society, but you're also going to enjoy your life a little bit more because you see the effect of your hard work and the outcome of that hard work. Who, you know, very obviously uh, just look different, act different, um, and, you, you know, you'll see that that's a difficulty that they have. 